Parklands is, as far as we're aware, the largest fully funded, under construction, new urban park system in the nation. It's about 4,000 acres in size, uh, stretches about 20 miles in length, and it generally runs around Louisville, and if you think of Louisville as a clock, it runs from about 3 o'clock to about 5 o'clock. All in Louisville and Jefferson County, and all along the banks of Floyd's Fork. It's a small tributary of the Salt River uh, that also is a tributary of the Ohio. It's named for John Floyd, who's one of our early, early pioneers and settlers in this region, who was here before Daniel Boone and Squire Boone. We think of ourselves as a gateway park. A lot of folks who are going to experience the outdoors for the first time may do so in this park. And what we're trying to do is provide a world-class gateway for them to get outdoors, get active, and have a good time. We broke the park into four sub-parks. Each park is named after a tributary of Floyd's Fork. So at the north, we have Beckley Creek Park. That is a very uh, people-centric park. It, it is designed to be a type of environment where soccer games, football games, spray ground, playground, formal gardens, a lot of stuff goes on. Working our way south is Pope Lick Park. We have soccer fields there, but we also have a state nature preserve there with what we call the Prairie Preserve. We have an extraordinary landscape here. It offers some unique experiences, things like birding, hiking, 20 minutes from downtown of a top 50 U.S. metropolitan area. Here's Turkey Run Park. This is our largest park in the whole system, about 1,100 acres in size. This is your outdoor adventure park. So it has a lot of hiking. It is going to take you deep into the woods. Very hilly topography. So rugged, outdoors, adventure. And then finally to the south is Broad Run Park. It has a balance of recreation and conservation. It'll have our largest wetland uh, in the whole park, huge riparian uh, corridors along Floyd's Fork, but also a spray ground and a playground. We are standing in the Humana Grand LA. It's part of Beckley Creek Park, and we are in the LA wetland, as you can probably tell from the water behind me. Um, it's a great place that we like to use to interpret wildlife and the wetland features, and a great place to come see wildlife, be it in spring for the salamanders and the spring peepers, summer for frogs, and then even in the winter when the migratory waterfowl come through. The Louisville Loop is a recreational pathway, a 100-mile loop around the city. The Louisville Loop goes all the way around it, we picked up the section of the loop that runs from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And that pathway that runs all the way through our park, about 20 miles in length, will be a great experience on its own for someone because it will allow them to get from one end of the park to the other uh, without having to get off their bike. you got to have dog parks these days. It's a feature you need to provide just like you provide playgrounds. We're very lucky to have a great partnership with the Little Dog Run Association. We're really happy to give folks a place to let Fido come out and work off some energy. So we're on top of the silo at the Brown Foreman Silo Center. It's in Turkey Run Park. And over my shoulder is a section of the Louisville Loop. And you're looking at the backside of Turkey Run Park as well. A typical, you know, a typical outer bluegrass topography of rolling hills. And you can see forest and our deciduous trees. And if you can hear them off in the distance, some of the frogs as well. And that's, you know, if we do our job right, in 100 years, folks in Louisville will have that same experience um, and the same view that we're enjoying today. You're talking about a park that's not only going to hold 3 million visits a year, it also is home to bobcats and coyotes and sandhill cranes. And we want those 3 million visitors to be able to encounter and experience that wildlife. A person biking down the Louisville Loop may encounter an indigo bunting, or they may get a flash of a white-tailed deer. So what we're trying to do that we think is unique nationally, actually, is develop and manage a mosaic of landscapes that are found in this region, um, because the wildlife are going to be more and more dependent on them. Almost think of it as a linear connectivity feature for wildlife. So we're trying to have added habitat types, improve water quality, and there's always a recreational component as well. A shady stream is a healthier stream for fish. It's a more comfortable stream for folks to paddle. So we're going to make it a more enjoyable and beautiful experience. The Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Department have been some of our strongest advocates and supporters. They bring their biologists here and help us. They're stocking the ponds with trout and catfish. Where I'm standing now is a section we call the Flats. It's in Beckley Creek Park. As you can probably tell, a very shallow section of the fork, easily accessible. We put it, a lot of trails here for young families so you can come get your feet wet, or as you can probably see from me, get a little bit more wet than that, uh, and enjoy Kentucky streams and Floyd's Fork.
the Festival Promenade in Beckley Creek Park. This is our festival and event space. It's designed with these little cutouts to be able to host tents for art shows, farmers markets, sports fields that can be used for any sort of sport. And this is really a statement of the Parkland's architecture, very formal shapes, meeting the natural areas such as the wetland behind us and the plantings that surround us as well. We have a variety of venues in the park, from the Gein's Lodge, which is our formal venue, to our new event barn open at Silo Center that are great for weddings. Folks can elect to bring their special event to the park. We give them a beautiful venue in which to have a special and memorable experience. We think the outdoors is the best classroom for kids, families, adults, college students, whatever. The best lessons are learned here. What we do that's a little bit different is we are a STEM center. We use the outdoors to teach science, technology, engineering, and math. We are not a nature center. Nature is the tool by which we teach things. And we've been so tickled with the response we've seen. The bluegrass region of Kentucky is something that's very easy to take for granted. But it is a spectacular landscape. The variety of wildlife, the variety of green um, can be nearly overwhelming. And our park's job is to awaken the senses, to experience in new ways, to understand it in new ways. What you're gonna encounter, we hope, in every area you go to, is a park you can just come and walk in um, and be comfortable with your family. It's not just an East Louisville Park. It's not just even a Louisville Park. It, it's for all of us. What we really wanna hold on to is a landscape of a visitor experience and a habitat that does nothing but get better and better year after year.